Good evening everybody, I'm here with my Nokia N8 filming with the X7 and about to demo Nokia Play 2 on my Samsung DLNA enabled television. So this is an app that can be found in Nokia Beta Labs. It's pretty cool. What it does is it allows you to stream media being video, audio and photo directly to your TV. There's two ways of controlling it. It can either be done with your phone remote control, or with your phone as a remote control, or with your TV's remote control, depending on how you have it set up. I will show you both methods. The first method, which what you'll need to do is open up the application. And if we just open it up there. Obviously, both devices will need to be connected to the same LAN network, um, and that's how they're going to share. So my phone, sorry about the quality here, but it's actually picked up my TV. Um, as you can see, my TV still can't pick up my phone. So what we need to do is we need to go into settings on the phone. You go connectivity. And you should see a media server here. At the moment, my sharing is set to off. If I click that, I set on. And then you'll also see there's a video support option, which is self-captured or all videos. I'll set mine to all videos. And go to the multitask menu and we'll reload my app. And we can now see that my TV, you can see what I'm sharing. So we select what you select on the TV. From the phone, I can now go photographs. I can select some photographs. If I then press play to share, we should see the TV should load those images um, there we go so that media is loading and switches over you may not be able to see through the filming here but the actual the pixelation everything's amazing the speeds it's pretty good and i mean yeah you just control from your phone so it's awesome you can just be sitting on the couch doing whatever i will then go back to video and we can just have a look and see what videos we can show here so this is the world's biggest corkscrew video unable to play i got a feeling that's because of the there are some bugs with the <clears throat> transmission of um some of the um video formats from full hd so not all of your videos will be able to play as far as i understand this one seems to be loading around so this is me sampling some beer the quality is great. You can skip video. No one may have an issue with, so we can go to this one. So I must admit the, the buffering with the video is a little bit slower than I'd like, but it's still pretty good. And sometimes it does kick out. I've got a feeling that's network issues, but it'll kick back in there. there you go so what i'd recommend is um make sure you got the best router that you can for transmission speeds it's obviously going to have an impact um, my router is not that great um 
<clears throat> we'll now go on to some music. So on my phone at the moment, I'm just scrolling through um, some various albums that I have. Then again, let me just find something appropriate. Select it on the phone, press play. TV kicks in. And once the music's loaded, it's pretty responsive. I can skip. Pause, play. So. And the cool thing is, the volume control from the phone that's 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 awesome oh I get really excited about little things like that you can skip track press pause you see at the bottom of the screen there the pause stop resume Okay, you can see here, it shows that it's being controlled remotely. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the second method of controlling the audio and video. So what I'll do is I'll just go back to my original menu. You can see at the top right here, there's a little play button. And that basically indicates that it's currently streaming. So I'll put that down there now. And with this remote control, which is for my TV, I will go and show you the same stuff that I just showed you before. So I'll just return. So you can see there, the device I'm connected to is my Nokia. We'll have a look at some video. My TV is a little bit strange and that'll take me to my media folders and then I'll have to select what I want to watch within those folders. Um, yours may be slightly different. And there's the video. You can pause. You can play. There's the volume. So again, everything controlled this time from the remote control. So return again. And this time we will go to some photographs from my main menu. Now with my photographs it takes a little while to buffer um, or load up some of the images should I say and I think that's mainly because I've got a few thousand images on my phone. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, again, I can scroll through all my photographs on TV. I can also load a few some awesome duck that I cooked recently and it should go into automatic slide share so we need that the quality is great it does help having an NA to capture those pictures and there you have it automatic slide show so you got people around you just turn your phone on bang and they can see what's going on so return again I'll show you the music menu this time it is slightly different actually more preferable in that you get a much better list when you load an album. So for example, if I load Florence in the Machine, we get a list of all the audio tracks and when I play one, it'll show me the rest of that album or folder on the right hand side there. So we can get the volume down, volume up, and thanks for watching, and I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the music.